What's cracking, peeps? It's the A Train coming back at you with another episode of What's Do at Tackle Warehouse. Spring is in the air, the days are getting longer, and those bass are getting ready to chew. So let's go get bit. So, first off, by Bait Sanity and Garrett Customs, we got the Cremera Shad. Um, this bait's been out, but this color, the Influencer, when this video drops, there is only 50 of these available. I repeat, 50 of these available. So as soon as you see me yapping, you better get on the website and order this bad boy because it will be gone. Great bait. Good thing uh, these glide baits this time of year, pre-spawn, spawn, definitely a bait you don't want to be without. So jump on it now. Next, by Missile Baits, we got the Ike's Giant Jig. So this is the time of year you're probably gonna get your biggest fish ever, your new personal best. This jig right here, look at the size of that hook. If you can't get bit with that and pin that fish, you don't even belong in the fishing world. But we got a good weed guard here, super long skirt, and very powerful hook keeper. So this bait is designed, especially for those pre-spawn pre fish, those lunkers, to put some of the biggest plastics you got. This will handle a six or even seven inch swim bait as a trailer. Uh, some of those craw trailers and those magnum sizes, this is definitely the bait for you. So whether you fish this, slow roll it, this is definitely a way to get the attention of those giant pre-spawn or even spawning fish right here. Don't be caught without this. Next, by Nichols and Bass Mafia. You seen the Big Larry Spoon? Well, this is a downsized version of it, the Little Larry Flutter Spoon. So just the same spoon, but in a smaller size, more compact, so when you're trying to match the hatch, when you get those four to five inch shad, this is definitely the bait for you. Um, usually these baits, as soon as that spawns over, those fish start moving out to those ledges, you definitely wanna have one of these to work those deeper structures with. Um, as these things descend, they like to roll on their sides and it just, the action on these things, they just get bit. Comes equipped with a dressed up hook, top premium components, extra heavy duty swivel, as well as a split ring. So just tie this up and send her away. Next, by Dirty Jigs, we got their double willow spinner bait. So these things, they pay great attention to detail. Um, the models have the Hildenbrandt blades, which those things turn true. You get maximum flash with the Hildenbrandt blades on there. Uh, premium skirts, good little hook keepers, just an awesome compact spinner bait. Notice that uh, little uh, lead right there uh, below the head right there. So that's gonna help with the castability. So if you get faced with windy days or whatnot, castability is not gonna be an issue at all. So get some of these nice spinner baits. They're compact. Man, do they pack a punch. Next, by Dirty Jigs and Tactical Bass, and we have the bigger size of that underspin. Now we're able to fish those bigger baits, but like I said, a great product, we just made it bigger. So now, get those four to five inch swim baits on here, and you're gonna get that bigger bite also. And also, castability definitely won't be an issue. So here's the Tactical Dirty Jigs underspin. Next, by Net Bait, we got the Bait Fuel Little Spanky. So we are just talking about those underspins. Look at that perfect combination right there. Definitely what these things were made for, those underspins, but also you guys that like to throw those Bama rigs. Nice soft durable plastic. You bite this thing, <laughs> you're not gonna wanna let go. This thing is just loaded, that bait fuel. But definitely that time of year, uh, bass are starting to fatten up, um, keying in on a shad, different kinds of bait fish. So the better you can mimic those bait fish, the more you're gonna get bit. So don't hesitate to throw this. You can even throw it on a little jig head. You see a lot of guys with that forward-facing sonar. Put that on a little Domeki head or something. Throw that with your forward-facing sonar. You see what these guys are doing on Bassmaster. Next, by Daiwa, we got the Tatula Elite spinning reel. So this is lighter than any other Tatula spinning reel they make. Uh, light and tough, the material is very, very solid, but Super light, this goes for all day fishing with very little to zero fatigue at all. Super smooth drag. I see a lot of the guys right now throwing a lot of spinning gear. So if you're gonna throw spinning gear all day, you want the lightest setup possible with the smoothest drag and you wanna be able to get those fish to the boat. Look no further, the Tatula Elite Series. Next, give a little shout out to all you offshore guys. You've heard about it, here it is. 
This is the Dio Alexa 500. This also comes in the left-handed model. So all you lefties out there, Dio decided to show you some love. So all you guys that like to chase those offshore fish, those yellowtail Dorado, the schooler size tuna, this is definitely the reel for you. If you're into fly lining, you could get that sardine or live bait, get that thing away from all the other guys on the boat. And um, the good, good little drag system, 30 pounds of drag on this little bad boy right here. Great spool capacity. This sucker right here, 65 pound braid. Um, you're gonna be able to get 300 plus yards on this bad boy, which is great to school anything 50 pounds or less. You start hooking into some of those bigger models, <laughs> it's gonna put you to the test. But um, this reel is finally here, so you better order it now. These will go quick. Thanks for tuning in and for more information on the product seen here today, click shop or the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this week's episode, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Let the A-Train know which of these products you're most pumped about.